I'm going to give you a quick overview and show you a small portion of the many improvements we've made over the last few years. There are hundreds, so I'm just going to show you enough to hopefully inspire you to give it a try. We'll start with the welcome screen, which you see here. This gives you quick access to a lot of resources and recently used files. I'm going to click here to uh, load one of the workspaces. And while we're waiting for that to load, I'd like to point out that this is running on a Mac, since you probably noticed the dock below. Map Info is still a Windows program, but using a Windows Virtual Machine, you can have it nicely integrated on your Mac. It just appears as another app or Windows Desktop, whichever you prefer. I'm going to give you a quick look around to get you oriented. On the left is the Explorer panel, which is like the layer control, but much more, as you'll see throughout this video. At the bottom of the Explorer are tabs for various common tools that I like to have handy. On the right, our map browser and layout windows. If you have multiple monitors, you can drag these onto them to give you more working space. On top is the ribbon tab, which is organized into the major categories. And you'll sometimes see these additional tabs, such as the layer tools, that are associated with what you have selected in the Explorer. On the very top left is the Pro tab, which contains the administrative functions, such as licensing, settings, and so on. And finally, just to let you know that this is just set up the way that I like, you can set up your map info desktop however you like as it is very flexible. I'll start with this map, which I think we can all agree is not particularly attractive. Let's see how we can make this a little bit better. First, I need to clean up the labels. Watch this. Pro is able to automatically label everything by intelligently using abbreviations and shrinking the labels to fit. Now let's add a map grid. And we'll zoom the map out a bit. You can see that both the labels and the grid automatically readjusted. I also want to point out this one quick thing. If you right click your mouse, you'll get this pop-up toolbar for map editing. Um, it comes with a lot of handy tools already pre-configured on it, but you can change this um, to add whatever tools or make it smaller or larger, however you would like to see it. Continuing to make the map look better, I've added a theme on population, which does not look great yet. And since I've selected a theme in the Explorer, there's a theme tab above. I'll start by picking better colors using the Color Brewer palettes. I like purple, so I'll pick that. Then I'll go over here and change the method. And maybe add some bins. That looks pretty good. Now let's pop over to the Explorer to see what's changed. Come over here and I can rename this layer. And remove a few bins. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. The layout designer replaces the layout window and your existing layout windows will automatically be converted for you. I'm going to quickly cover three aspects of the designer, templates, live content, and multi-page layouts. I'll start by creating a new layout using a template. Yeah, see how easy that was? Um, it's also easy to create new templates or to share them within a work group or even to create map books using scripting. Now I'm going to quickly move on to live content. Um, live content provides WYSIWYG view of the page. And for maps, this means a lot less time spent fixing labels. What live content means is not having to go elsewhere to make edits for any of the items that are on the layout. Let's see what that looks like for a map. Um, I can double click the map frame. You can see the border went blue. That means it's in edit mode. Um, I can double click here and get my map toolbar. And you can do any of the map operations you would do in a normal map window, as you can see. And then to exit edit mode, just click anywhere else um, on the on the canvas. Let's take a look and see how that looks for a scale bar too. Um, we'll open this. Scale bars look pretty good on their own, but let's just make it a little bit longer. We'll make it four inches. We'll uh, change the change what we call kilometers here to just or just for the heck of it. And uh, we'll hook that up. And there you go. There's your scale bar. 
And now on to multi-page layouts. You'll see these uh, set of tools down here at the bottom. If you click a, add a page, you've now got multiple pages, very similar to the PowerPoint slide sorter. Um, the multiple pages is really handy if you want to keep things organized into one layout window or if you want to print everything out in one shot uh, to create a multi-page uh, PDF. There's lots more to discover here in layout, but that should give you a good idea of what you can do. We've added cloud services for geocoding in drive time regions and a powerful SQL builder. I'll do a quick demo so that you can see both in action. I'll start with these addresses that we're going to geocode, and then I'll map the locations with high sales using SQL Builder. This table is already geocoded, as you can see the Latin long fields in here. But that provides an opportunity to show you how to quickly reset it using the update script in SQL Builder. So we'll go there, retrieve the script, run it, see the table was reset. Now we'll go back to the geocoder, make sure everything looks good, and we'll run that. You see that ran pretty quickly. Now we'll go back to the SQL Builder and we'll retrieve a different script so we can select the high sales and generate a map all in one shot. See, it's very simple. Run it. There it is. We've started to build out the map info environment in two very important ways the marketplace and the community. The marketplace is available here on the home tab. And you can see that it opens up inside this window. Let's take a look at one of these tools. You can see the tool has plenty of information in it. And if you click here on the install product, it'll just be one click and it'll be installed and loaded into Map Info. I'd also like to quickly show you the community site. Um, it's on the welcome screen, which you saw at the very beginning of this video, or in the resource section within, within Pro here. You can click on Knowledge Communities. So in here, you can connect directly with other MapInfo users or the MapInfo team to get your questions answered. You can also post ideas for discussion or find upcoming MapInfo events and webinars. There are many community sites in here, including two others for MapInfo, the MapInfo Lab, where you can try out new stuff before it's released, and the MapInfo Developer Community. I hope you found this quick tour useful. You saw the welcome screen, some new navigation and organization, some powerful additions to creating map themes, labeling improvements, dynamic map grids, the layout designer and templates, cloud services, the SQL builder, background processing, plus the marketplace and knowledge community. That was a lot in a quick video, but that was just a small sample of the many improvements that we've made to MapInfo. Hopefully you'll be inspired to check out MapInfo 2019. Thank you for watching.